beautiful mountain backdrops, endless dirt roads, and many places to camp make the Eastern Sierra one of the best places to explore. In this video, we will be exploring old mines and getting up into higher elevation where I'll find a guy stuck in some deep snow and attempt to recover him. Stay tuned to see if we make it out. Alabama Hills itself is certainly striking, but this morning I found my gaze continually drawn upwards to Mount Whitney. At over 14,000 feet above sea level, Mount Whitney is the highest mountain in the contiguous United States. Alright you guys, so we are leaving Alabama Hills and I'm going to head two hours north up to 395 into the White Mountains, ancient Bristlecone Forest. Super excited to get back up there. I'll see you guys there. As I hit the dirt roads in my truck, leaving this beautiful place behind, I feel a sense of liberation enveloping me. The rugged terrain beneath my wheels becomes a canvas for adventure, and the vast expanse of the great outdoors becomes my playground. With each turn, I escape the confines of the routine, embracing the freedom of exploration. whispers tales of untold landscapes and the untamed beauty of nature fuels a spirit of adventure within me. In this moment, surrounded by the wild, my truck becomes more than an adventure vehicle. It's a vessel for the boundless joy of discovering the untouched wonders that lie beyond the beaten path. All right, so I was actually taking the scenic way out. Um, I think it's towards Mofat Ranch. There's this uh, Mofat Road right here. And I saw there's like mining equipment. So I was like, I gotta come check it out. And then I'm looking over there and there's a freaking, a little mine. It looks really small, but I might have to go down there and um, see if I can climb in there. If I go to the end of this road right here, um, there's supposed to be a mine, so we're going to go down there too and see what we can find. 
The Mofat Gold Mine, located near Bishop, California, is historically known as a part of the Buttermilk Mining District, which is now encompassed by the Inyo National Forest. Currently, the Mofat Gold Mine is closed without any known plans for reopening. This stuff is pretty cool. I wonder if this wood is all original. Because it's crazy, it seemed to have, if it is, it's like holding up all these years. So this thing is all blocked off, but in here, it looks like this just goes straight down. Mofat Mine operated on a relatively small scale in terms of production size and employment underground mining methods. The mine featured a single shaft reaching a maximum depth of 50 feet below the surface. The primary mineral extracted from the Mofat Mine was gold. Look at this big wheel. This thing's nuts. Like, look at the teeth on this. Insane. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. I wonder if it moves. No, it's not. All right, I'm gonna go down the hill and uh, check out the little hole in the ground that I saw from up here. Here's the uh, little tiny mine that I saw from up on the hill over there. Let's see uh, how far back it goes. Probably doesn't go back very far. Oh yeah. So. Oh no, it's like blocked off. Man, this would be a good little shelter though if it was raining wow it's so crazy you would never expect this goes like right underneath the road so it looks like you can like get around this little grate right here and go back but i don't think i'm going to i think i'm good there's probably nothing crazy back there probably just a bunch of gold you know Ran into this guy at Alabama Hills. He's in a stock Range Rover, probably like a 2023. Has barely any tire. And he's just cruising around here with a big smile. I saw him at Alabama Hills, he had a huge smile on his face. So it just goes to show you don't need four low. No, I'm just kidding. It just goes to show you don't need four wheel drive and crazy tires to get out and explore. You can just pin it to win it like the Range Rover guy and uh, super awesome. Alright, I'm gonna head down and see if this mine's any cool. It only had a one star on Google reviews. This is totally unplanned and I'm finding some really awesome stuff. There's another little cabin right here. Really sweet. Old bed frames. Old bed frames are cool. They seem to last forever. Not like today's bed frames. So there is a big rock in the road right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to drive past it. The uh, mine's supposed to be around the corner, so I think I'm just going to hike it. Yeah, right, here it is. The other mine. And this one is very professionally blocked off. Probably because there's a bunch of gold back there. Bitcoin. This is a Bitcoin mine. Anyways. This looks so fresh. Like this was just blocked off. Huh. Well. Anyways. That's that. Let's head up to 395. pumped. I was worried there was not going to be a lot of snow, but I just came over. Someone stuck? No, maybe not. Looks like another Tacoma. There's a lot of snow. 
and I am freaking stoked. Man, I think he is stuck. I'm gonna get out, check it out. How long is your... I think it's 25 feet, but... Yeah, we'll... I would not come here on that point. We'll find out. I think I'll be good right here. Not that long. <laughs> Let's see if I can get stuck too. Now I think I'll be good. Yeah, we'll be good. You know, we have two vehicles now. All right, gotta give it a shot. You're backing in, right? is will I get enough traction or will I sink like the Titanic snow recovery I'm not too sure that I'm going to uh, keep going by myself because I don't want to get stuck and then be stranded stranded part three so I'll probably cruise down the mountain and uh, there's some other little turnoffs maybe I'll go camp over there not every adventure goes as planned but that's what makes these adventures so much fun the destination isn't always reached, but the journey is always an adventure, and I still found some snow to drive on. Well, it's a bummer. I was not able to make it up to try to find the cowboys. This is a really cool spot. There's a uh, bench right here, a little table. Insane view of the Eastern Sierra. Pretty stoked. Um, this company sent me these heated jackets. So I'm gonna test them out right now and uh, see if they're any good. All right, so, or Oral Wear. I think that's how you say it. Heated apparel. It comes with 
the jacket of course and a charger and a battery I believe all right so here's the little battery pack it comes with it looks like it takes uh, USB and USB-C here's the charging cable oh this is like a USB or not a USB AC outlet pretty cool I will probably be charging with USB-C let's try the jacket on All right, fits good. Large fits good. So the left bottom pocket here, plug it in the bottom here. It came charged, it has three bars out of four. So I am press and hold the power button, uh, usually located on the left chest area for three seconds. Power button logo illuminates and flashes red. It's illuminated. First impressions of this heated jacket is uh, the quality seems really good. I like the material. I like the color. I like that it has a zipper pocket here. Um, easy to recharge using USB-C. That's my preference at least. There's another pocket on the inside. The zipper seems good. It's definitely toasty. Uh, it's about 37 degrees right now. I'm also in the sun and I have a jacket underneath, but I can definitely feel the heat, which is nice. So I look forward to uh, testing this out some more uh, in the future for some winter camping. All right, so I've been using the Schmittybilt air compressor for about two years now. Uh, Morflate sent me out this new PSI Pro 12 volt air compressor. It's supposed to be the fastest air compressor on the market. So I'm at 17 PSI right now, and I'm gonna air up to about 37 PSI. So I'm gonna set the timer and see how long it actually takes. Okay, so no joke, this thing is stupid fast. Uh, I'm already at about two and a half minutes. I'm already at 31 PSI. That's probably like four times as fast as the Schmitty Belt. It would take me about 12 to 15 minutes to air up with the Schmitty Belt, and I'm actually at a lower PSI. All right, so now at three minutes, we're at 34 PSI, and a cool feature about the this um, Morflate air compressor is that you can actually set the PSI you want and it'll shut off when it's done or when it's at the specified PSI that you want. So if you guys want a Morflate or an air compressor, I highly recommend the quad flate that I use to inflate and deflate my tires. Um, there's a link in the description of every video. Make sure you use my code, you'll get a small discount. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed another adventure. It didn't go as planned, but there's more adventures to come, and I'll see you guys next Sunday for another video. Peace out.